Ugh, it's so gross. What can I wipe it on? My pants? Ugh, crap. Can you guess which of these subscription boxes and bags I'm canceling this month. Hello everybody, welcome back to Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty, and I'm Stephanie. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please go ahead and take a moment to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so YouTube lets you know when I upload. If you're not familiar with this video series, this is when I take three subscription boxes or bags and I use them throughout the month and then I unbox them for you, let you see what's inside and let you know what I thought about them. I am sorry this is a little late. All of these subscriptions came so late. Usually I get them all in the first week of whatever month it is. This month I literally got them all at the end of like the second week and my Sephora Play came just last week. With these things, I think you can typically know whether you like them or don't like them after a use or two. Another interesting little fact about this month is I am going to be canceling one of these subscriptions after this month. There's just so many subscription boxes out there and one of these particular subscriptions has been letting me down. So I keep letting this particular subscription renew itself and come month after month, hoping that it's going to impress me the way it did in the beginning. and. It just hasn't now for, I wanna say, three or four months running, so I'm pretty much done with it, and I'll tell you which one it is when I talk about it, and, um, and I'll tell you why. So let's get right into the video. So first we're gonna talk about Ipsy. Here's my Ipsy bag this month. So here she is. She's yellow and pretty, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's three different shades of yellow on this guy. There's like a light yellow, medium yellow, and a darker yellow. And the zipper is a cute little yellow heart. The first thing I'm gonna pull out of the Ipsy bag is this guy. It's a MAC Lip Glass Brilliant. It came in this little MAC bag. It was sealed, it was a bitch to get open. Um, so at first I thought this was a concealer because it's so light. I'm not quite sure, well, first of all, why anybody would make a color like this in lip gloss and is it lip gloss? Is lip glass supposed to be like a lip primer? I don't know, let's find out. No dude, it's like literally supposed to be a lip gloss. So I just looked it up because at first I was like, "Is it, am I crazy? Is this like a lip primer and I'm just thinking it's a lip gloss and I'm gonna sound stupid, but no, it's a lip gloss. So it's in the shade see-through and it it is actually, I mean, I guess it's a nude lip gloss. Let me show you what it looks like on the skin. So it literally looks like concealer, guys. This is the worst color lip gloss ever. Like, why would you make a lip gloss that looks like your skin? That goes beyond a nude lip gloss. It would lit my. It, it would look like I didn't have lips. They'd be like, "Where's that girl's lips?" It would just make my lips the exact same color as my skin. So I do not understand that at all. Aside from the poor color choice, it's super thick and sticky. It smells good though but so like gloopy and sticky, like, ugh, I don't like it. Not pleased with that. A full-size MAC lip glass, lip gloss, will run you about 10 bucks at Macy's. Um, so I will not be purchasing that, obviously. Not in that color, not in any color, because I just wanna go, like, take a shower now because this stuff is so thick and sticky. Ugh, it's so gross. What can I wipe it on? My pants? Next out of the Ipsy bag, we have the Pure Brazilian Miracle Leave-In Treatment. It's supposed to give 10 benefits, so it kind of reminds me of the It's a 10, sort of the same um, marketing and, you know, promises. I actually really like this. First of all, I think it's a pretty good size sample and I have very thick curly hair when it's not blow dried and straightened and curled. So I do use a lot of leave-in treatment. So this would probably only last me probably two or three times tops. I do really like it. I like the smell. It left my hair silky after my shower. Typically if I'm going to blow dry and straighten my hair the next day when I shower at night, I'm not going to put anything in my hair. I'm just going to 
um, wash it and let it kind of dry overnight. That way when I blow dry the next day, I'm not blow drying for an hour and a half. I did put this in after my shower. And the next day I woke up and my hair was really manageable. It wasn't frizzy, especially in the areas that it gets frizzy here, like at the crown of my head. You know, I'll pull my hair back in a bun and sleep and the bun will still be wet, but this part will be like all puffy and curly because it's not pulled back or restrained in any way. Well, it was soft, it was silky, it didn't frizz up too much. I forget what the smell is like. I just sprayed it all over, so. With this, I was sort of expecting a more tropical, like coconutty scent, sort of. But to me, it's more like vanilla-y, which isn't unpleasant at all, and very faint. I had to really search for the scent when I sprayed it on my arm, and probably I didn't remember too much what it smelled like in my hair because I didn't really remember even smelling it in my hair, which could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you like. Put it right there for now, current winner of the Ipsy bag, because that MAC nude lip gloss was awful. All right, the next thing I have is the uh, Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. And this is a really good sized sample. And I don't use a lot of cleanser. I use an oil-based cleanser to wash my face typically. I've gone with something more sensitive to keep my oil production in check. I love Murad products. I really love their eye cream. I love their nutrient charged gel, the water gel. I could probably use this once or twice a week because it has 1.5 salicylic acid in it, so it can be a little harsh on the skin. And I think in general, acne washes that are designed to treat acne can be drying and stripping of your skin and I'm trying to put moisture back in my skin to teach my skin how to produce oil at a normal pace. So I might use this once or twice a week and it will last me forever and I love Murad products. They make really, really, really good acne fighting face washes so I'm excited about that. And I wanna say that is the new winner. Get out of here, Brazilian leave-in treatment. It's a 10 wannabe. I'm not loyal at all. So this is the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. So the color's not right for me. I don't know if you could see that, even though it is in light. It's orangey, and I think I have more of a cool undertone to my skin, whereas I feel like this concealer might suit more warm undertone. It's a little orangey for me, especially when it's, it's darker and oranger than my normal concealer would be on my pale days when I'm not spray tanning. So as far as the color, it's not good, and if this is as light as they go, almost the exact same color as the, the lip glass. Um, so as far as the formula though, this formula actually really covered well. It's just too orange. You could kind of see it. You could see the difference in my face. And I, I felt like I had to put bronzer on like all over in order to accommodate for it the day I wore it. But it covers really well. It dries down fast. And I mean, I really like the formula. So this is a really good concealer if anybody can find a shade that matches their skin tone. But me, I, it's not a good, it's not a good shade for my skin tone. So that cannot be a winner just on the fact that I really can't use it. Maybe if I'm tanner, but not right now. So we'll put that with the lip gloss, glass, and the leave-in conditioner. Mm. <laughs> it's a word I can't pronounce. What else is new? We're gonna give it a try. Hanalei Lip Treatment in Mauve Pink. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be a treatment or a lipstick lip gloss. If it's a treatment, it's usually colorless. I'm gonna show you by the consistency. So what I was confused about this was, I didn't know if it was supposed to be an actual lip product, like a lipstick or a lip gloss, or a lip treatment. Um, I don't know if I've ever used anything that combines, you know, form and function. Usually I put lip treatments on like at night before I go to bed and I'm gonna wear a lipstick or a lip gloss during the day, but let me show this to you. And you tell me what you think in the comments, cause I'm still confused. Look how orange my skin is from that concealer. Put it on my hand. So see how thick it comes out? So I actually like the color of this lip treatment. It's a beautiful pink rose or, you know, whatever they call it, mauve pink. It looks, it looks beautiful and I love pink lipstick. So I wanna feel like I'm leaning more towards it's a lipstick with maybe like benefits to your lips. 
It smells almost medicinal, so if you use a Blistex lip treatment, um, you know, you get that like medicine-y sort of maybe Vixie smell, so it smells like that. So, I see, I'm confused. I just don't know if I would ever walk around with something that's really like thick and nourishing on my lips during the day, and I could not wear this to bed. It would be all over my pillowcases and everything, so confused about that, but color's beautiful, still not my favorite of this month. And there's only one thing left. Uh, what? I'm gonna wash my hands like it's just a sticky mess. It's stick fest over here. Hold please. That lip treatment did not, it was not a fan of coming off of my hand. The residue that it left behind is still there. The last thing, ugh, it's a nail polish, dude. After I get my Ipsy, after I get my Birch Box, I am vigilant about filling in those surveys where they ask you questions to tailor your next box or bag to you. Like, do you like getting lip glosses? Do you like this brand? Do you like getting nail polishes? No, I always say no, I don't like getting nail polishes. Stop sending me nail polishes, but every month, without fail, they send me a nail polish. Start sending me brushes, man. Brushes, I like brushes. This is the PS Cosmeceutical Nail Lacquer. Last video, last month, I said nail liqueur. <laughs> and it, I know that it's lacquer, but I said liqueur, so maybe I was thinking about drinking, but lacquer is the PS Cosmeceuticals Nail Lacquer, and this color is in Georgia Peach. It's actually a really pretty color, so maybe I spoke too soon, but it just looks so thin to me. That's what I hate about these weird off-brand or like lesser known named companies that make nail polish when Ipsy sends it to me because they always seem watery and thin and they take forever to dry and I just, ugh, well, here, let me show you. Like I said, it's actually a really pretty color. Ah, crap. I dripped some on my table saved but i just feel like it's so watery yeah like i said i think it's a pretty color um but it's just watery so i i i didn't try it yet to be completely honest i just didn't have time to sit there for an hour and a half and let my nails dry with this stuff but like i said the color's pretty so i think the winner from ipsy this month is the murad clarifying cleanser and it's because i love murad as a company i know they make good stuff and it's a really good size sample um winning 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 three strikes you're in so that's the winner from this month for ipsy let's move on to birch box oh birch box so here's my birch box from this month it's a blue backed box and on the front it says birch box as usual and it's got a bunch of people hanging out at the beach let's open it up the thing i do like about birch box over ipsy is it comes with a card explaining everything and the price of the full size product. Let's pull out this first thing. <sighs> I am struggling with birch bags this month. Okay, so this is Total Results Matrix Miracle Creator Multitasking Hair Mask. Okay, cool. I like a hair mask. I really do. So on the card it says, hmm. Slather this hardworking hair mask onto your damp strands to nourish, strengthen, and revive. The best part, it works in just one minute. Like, if it does work in just one minute, because I haven't tried it yet, once again, have to be honest, I have not tried it yet. Um, if it works in one minute, that would be really amazing. It's better than a shampoo and conditioner sample. Which brings me to a shampoo and conditioner sample. I'm so annoyed by it. I hate, hate, hate when these subscription box services send me conditioner and shampoo samples. I don't want them. There is no way that this tiny little packet could actually make a difference in my hair or be used for long enough to show me if it works or not. I'm so heated about it. So this conditioner and shampoo sample, and I feel like it should count as one, by the way. Just saying, I feel like it should count as one. This company is called Davines, and it's an oil conditioner and oil shampoo. The full sizes of both are $29, which is bananas. Bananas, but you'll love this ultra hydrating paraben and sulfate free shampoo slash conditioner for all hair types. It boosts volume and shine, improves texture, and will protect hair from UV rays. So great, I mean, that's all stuff that I love but uh, I'm not here for the shampoo and conditioner samples. So far, Birchbox has sent me two things for my hair, 
both of which I can use once and done. What's next? Please redeem yourself. They don't. Oh, it's another Devine's product. Your Birchbox This Month, sponsored by and brought to you by Davine's Hair Products. And half of your box will consist of these hair products. So this is a nourishing leave-in treatment, allegedly. It's called All-in-One Milk, full size is $32. Nourishing leave-in treatment detangles while adding volume, shine, and heat protection. Not super good with the spraying. There we go. So it's, <laughs> it smells to me like salon hair care. Like a conditioner you'd get in a box of hair color. It smells kind of chemically and it's a lot thinner than the other leave-in treatment we got in the Ipsy bag so it's not as thick but it really it's nice guys. It smells much better when it goes on your hair and I could kind of smell it all day like I would move my hair and I could smell it. It smells fresher and less chemically when on your hair. It smells like a perm. And I didn't notice a huge difference, but it made my hair soft and it, it made it easier to brush. And I mean, it was shiny after, but I put so much stuff in after, so I'm not really sure if that's because of that or because of, you know, the verb hair oil I put on. I'm not sure. I wouldn't purchase the full size at all, but okay. Moving on, I have no winners from Birchbox yet. What if we get to the end of the box and nobody won? Can you guess which of these subscription boxes and bags I'm canceling this month. I can. Starts with a B and ends with an ox. Oh my god, somebody is like out there weed whacking or something. I hope you guys can't hear this. You probably can. Okay, so next. Oh, shoot. I never showed you any close-ups of anything from Birchbox. It's all right. You don't need to see those. Okay, so next we have the Peak Beauty Metella Matte Naturally Quick Drying Blush in the color Abu. Oh, because the company's name is Peak Abu. Is that the only color they have? Because I feel like no other color names would work with that, but okay. So here is the little kind of like sample package it came in, and then you open it. <laughs> then look how small it's like. Oh, this is a pretty good size, you know, blush. And then it's like, boom, tricked ya. Look at that. Is that necessary? So here's the little tin. It says peak on it. It's cute. And then you kind of slide it off like a sardine can. And that's cute. And then there's the blush. So this is really, really faint. It's peachy, it's not super bright pink, which is fine because I don't, I'm pale. I'm not, you know, rocking hot pink blushes typically. And I actually liked this when I put it on. I don't normally lean towards cream blushes or highlighters just because I think they, they can make my pores stand out and look bigger. This one didn't seem to do that. It didn't really settle into my pores or anything. Um, and, and it was pretty. The only problem was for me, it didn't last all day. It didn't last very long at all. It wasn't there. Um, but so far, that is the winner. Small little sardine can peak a boo blush. The last thing in my birch box is I cannot say this word. So this is Dr. Jart. I like Dr. Jart as a skincare company, and it's called the Sikafair, Sikapair, Chikapair, one of those Tiger Grass Cream. <laughs> I use Dr. Jart's Ceramidian Serum, and I like it. It's it's pretty good. So this is formulated with the medicinal herbs. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna say it. This healing, calming, and deeply hydrating cream treats redness, blemishes, inflammation, and other irritations. So here, and this is what's funny. Once again about Birchbox, this is so funny. Look at this box. It's pretty big size, you know, compared to my hand. It's like the entire size of my palm. So here's the box that comes in, tells you all about it on the back. Very informative, very pretty box. Think you're gonna get a good size sample? <laughs> what? Why? Why? This little tube for this. Here's the actual tube, very tiny. Definitely not the size of my palm at all. I understand guys, it's a sample, it's a sample, it's a sample, but I can get all these things sampled for me at Sephora for free. And I will, because I'm canceling Birchbox this month. I'm just done with their shampoo and conditioner samples and their tiny little tricky 
oh, it's a big box, but boom, there's nothing in there. Or the fact that their tubes, when they send you samples, come halfway filled. That drives me crazy. But this stuff is good and I like it a lot. So I actually, I would be interested in buying the full size of this. It's $48 for the full size, uh, which isn't too bad. It makes your, the redness on like a bad, painful cystic pimple, it will literally go away overnight. And it smells, it smells so good. It reminds me of, I don't know, maybe eucalyptus and lemon together. Just a really good tropical smell. Um, on, on our honeymoon, we went to Mexico and we were at an all-inclusive resort and the whole resort, like all the common areas, the lobbies and everything smelled just like this. Lemon and eucalyptus. And it kind of reminded me of that, which gave me really good vibes. But in this tube, the amount of product you get, and I'm pushing it down now so you can see. So not only do they trick you by giving you this big box, but they push all this air in this tube and that is basically how much you're getting. So that kind of pisses me off. And like I said, I am canceling Birchbox after this month. They need to do better. There's lots of boxes out there I want to try and I kind of have been pulling back because so I'm like, oh, I have too many subscriptions. But now I'm going to cancel Birchbox and I'm going to open myself up for something else, something better. Let the universe send me better makeup samples my way. Not stuff I can go to Sephora and be like, I want a sample of that. I want a sample of that. I want a sample of that. And walk out paying nothing and having the same amount, if not more. Sometimes Sephora gives more than this for samples. So that's my opinion on it. You can disagree with me. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way and you've been sort of let down and disappointed by Birchbox lately. The winner of the Birchbox this month is the Dr. Jart Tiger Cream because I like it and it works and uh, you know I wish that they had given me more of it. Last but not least we have Sephora Play. Usually Sephora Play is my favorite. It's always like a toss up between Ipsy and Sephora Play. Whoever gives me a brush wins and that's usually Ipsy, but Ipsy didn't give me a brush this month, so let's check it out. So this month it came in this bag. It's a white bag with pink drawstrings and on the front there's electric blue and hot pink accents like palm trees and it says hot on there, so perfect for summer. Let's dive right in. So Sephora also sends you this ginormous info card. So big. Welcome to the beauty boardwalk. And then they tell you everything that's in the box. Let's check out what we have in here this month. Oh my God. First thing I pulled out is the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. Here she is. And this is a pretty big sample. It's supposed to be, you know, a styling cream, kind of probably like the Diva Curl styling cream that I got last month in, I think it was Sephora as well. It says, oh, the humidity, a frizz taming styling cream that blocks moisture in the air without weighing down hair, which is perfect. I haven't tried it yet, but if this works, that would be awesome because I try not to straighten and blow dry my hair in the summer. There's no point. It's so humid here, so hot. And am I the only one that hates summer? I hate summer. I want fall to come so bad. I hate the heat. I hate sweating, feeling hot, having to, you know, not wear like cozy sweatpants to bed because you're just dying of heat. So I'm ready for summer to be over. And if this works, you know, it could be a replacement for my Diva Curl. We'll see. But right now it's in the maybe pile for a winner. It depends what else is in here. Oh, no. No. Why Sephora? Another perfume sample? I hate perfume samples. Here's my perfume sample. I hate perfume samples. This is the, is it Bulgari? It's not Bvulgari. Oh, it's this month's bonus. Thank you so much for this month's bonus. It is an uplifting, effervescent floral scent with a mix of bright tropical hues and warm, welcoming undertone. So this isn't the worst perfume sample I've ever gotten, to be honest. It's not bad, actually. It smells like... It smells kind of fruity, which I like. I do use Clinique Happy. That's what I've used forever since I was 15. It's orangey smelling, it's citrusy, it's uplifting, and this kind of... This kind of matches it. I don't like a lot of floral or spicy notes in my perfumes. I like it to be citrusy, and this actually is not bad. What is it called? Pink Sapphire. It's called Pink Sapphire? 
It's like grapefruity. I actually like this. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I just went ham talking about how much I hate perfume samples and I actually like this. I bet it's like a million dollars though. Still not the winner for me. What's next? Oh, it's the Murad Age Reform Nutrient Charge Water Gel. I love this stuff, guys. Oh my God. The only reason I do not use it anymore is because it's so expensive and my husband, and I used to slather it on my face. And my husband was like, you have to stop. Like you have to find something cheaper. So now I use the Neutrogena Water Gel and it's fine. But this stuff was amazing. But check this out. Let me show you. Pretty big box, right? Once again, size of my palm. <laughs> and you open it up. <laughs> Can you see it here? This is so tricky. This is trickery. What witchcraft is this? Why would you put this ginormous box in my bag for this? Just put this in the bag. Why this? When it's this. This is a lie. This is the truth. I didn't need to try it. I've used it before. It's awesome. It's very expensive, but it works beautifully. But I'm kind of pissed that they gave me this tiny little sample, but whatever. Oh my God, I wish I could buy it again. So deliciously light, but refreshing and hydrating and your skin holds moisture forever with it. wasting this. So I want to say that this Murad Nutrient Charge Water Gel is the winner this month, but I'm so pissed. I wouldn't have been mad about this if they sent this in the bag. Well, because they sent this in the bag and then try to give me this. So I don't know. I want to say it's the winner because I love it, but out of principle, let's see what else we have. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. A lightweight, medium coverage foundation that hydrates skin for a flawless, fresh face. I did not have to try this, guys, because I've tried this before, and uh, mm -mm, it's not good. It's not good. Not for me. I have dry skin. It's supposed to hydrate your skin. Um, it just didn't last at all. It went on fine. It looked great when it went on. After a couple hours, I, I was so, I was so embarrassed because I was at work, and it literally looked like I had makeup on, you know, still maybe on like my cheeks and maybe on my forehead, but it was coming off on my nose, it was coming off on my chin. Oh, it was embarrassing. So that's not a win because it's not good. The Makeup Forever HD Invisible Foundation. Lies, 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 but whatever, here it is. And once again, also the shade, super orangey on me, super orangey. Hard pass. Ooh, Clinique. Take the day off makeup remover. This stuff's great, guys. I love Clinique, as, especially for skincare. They have a lot of great stuff that I really like, and this makeup remover works really well. It's not super drying for your skin. It takes off almost everything. So, I mean, as of right now, this is the winner for Sephora Play. That's sad though. It's like something I've already used. It's not even anything new that I found. Next we have, <laughs> I dropped it. We have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied. Why so many words in the name of a lip gloss? Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Matte Lipstick in Queen B. I'm actually wearing this right now so you can kind of see what it looks like on. I guess it, it is long wearing and it does go matte pretty quickly, which I like. I don't like when a uh, lipstick that's matte takes forever to dry down matte. Once again, I don't have time for that, um, but it is pilling up a little bit. Like I can feel it getting dry and pilling up in certain places on my mouth and I don't like that, but most matte lipsticks do that to me and it's why I try to stay away from them, but I really like the color. It looks nice on, so this might actually be the winner. Oh my God, what a sad month. I was not excited about anything I got this month, really besides that Dr. Jar, and it's in the Birch Box, so it can't even win for the month because I'm canceling Birch Box because I hate them and I'm mad at them. Yeah, this is the winner for Sephora Play in June. There are three winners. Um, yeah, I mean, for $30, because that's pretty much how much they all cost together. 
For $30, I would have liked to come away with more stuff that I felt excited about and that I could use. I was really agitated about the concealer colored lip gloss that I got in Ipsy. I was agitated about all the hair stuff that I got in Birchbox. And I was agitated about the trickery with the Murad cream that I got in Sephora Play. Like, why, why'd you put it in that box? Oh, I can't take it. I'm gonna be talking about it forever. So I guess, Overall, overall, I'm gonna say that Sephora Play wins this month because of the Clinique, which is a great product, and I think it's a pretty big sample, like this is gonna last me a while. The lip gloss is nice, and the Murad Plus, the perfume that I bitched about, but actually ended up liking. So Sephora Play wins for June overall, do you guys have some recommendations for good subscription bags or boxes? Um, I really want better size samples. I want a different variety of products. I like makeup more than skincare because like I said, I can always go to Sephora and get samples of skincare for free. So let me know in the comments if you guys have recommendations for boxes or bags that you think I would like and then I will probably order them because Birchbox is canceled. Yeah, I can't let Sephora or Ipsy go yet, but they don't step their game up. <sighs> Nobody is safe. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and comment and subscribe. If you're new here, thanks for joining and thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you again. Please, everybody, have an amazing day. Stay kind and stay beautiful. Mwah!